Hello YouTube, I'm Tallman Brad and welcome back to The Beginner's Guide to Space Engineers. In the last episode we explored as much as we were able with the rover on the hunt for ores and we learned a little about the GPS markers system, how to manage your markers and I give you a quick tip on creating those markers the secret easy way. Don't tell anyone. I also mentioned at the end of the video that I had already filmed the fourth episode which is originally going to be part of part three but because of the subject matter I thought it deserved a video all of its own. This episode is all about creating our first magnificent flying machine and more specifically a flying mining ship. Don't forget to hit like or say hi in the comments. Here's the video. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to build now a very, very, very basic mining ship. When you're starting a big project in this game, like a another vehicle, it's handy to have your toolbar laid out with everything you think you're going to need to build that machine. I like to keep one, two, three, and four as they are, and then it only leaves us five to nine to play with. Now we can't get all of the components in there, but what you can do is if you notice underneath the one, two, three, four, there is the single little digits. Now one is sort of highlighted. If I do control and two, I can switch to a second bank of these hotbar shortcuts. Now I'm going to fill that with the things that we're going to use to make the mining ship. So let's go into the G menu and have a look and see what I think we're going to need. Well, first of all, we're going to start with the landing gear. Let's pop that in there. Then we're going to want to power it. So we want a battery. Then we're going to want to control it. So we need a control seat. So we can maneuver it in the air. We need a gyroscope. And how do we get it in the air? Well, that's going to take thrusters. Now there are all sorts of different types of thrusters in this game. The ones we're concerned with at the minute are called atmospheric thrusters. Now these only work in atmosphere. They don't work in space and they don't work on most of the other planets. And I'm going to use the standard thruster. It'll also be useful to have an ore detector. And there is the drill that we're going to use on the ship. So let's start with the landing gear. So it's number one. Same as before, I'm just going to drop it roughly in the middle of the working area. I want my welding tool on for this. Now I'm going to drop a battery straight on. Now this, just to remind you again, this is an extremely basic uh, drilling machine. So let's put a uh, the battery on. Let's go back into here. It's number two. I'm going to drop that straight on the top like that. Then I think I'll place the drill on now so we can get an idea of the layout. Now it's going to look pretty crazy, but it's going to be practical. Control seat on. Then we want a gyroscope. I'm going to just pop that behind there. And I'm going to leave the thrusters for the minute. I want to start welding this up first to get us started. So you need thrust in all direction, except perhaps down when you have strong gravity. Rather than having an engine that pushes you down to the ground, you just effectively turn off your upward thrust engine and it drops you to the ground. Now you don't need to think about that. The computer will work that out for you. We need to get up in the air. So let's rotate this thruster. That's pointing up over, so that will get us off the ground. But I can tell you now, that won't be enough. Let's put another one on this side. So now we should have plenty of lift when they're built. We need thrust to get us going forwards. So let's pop a, a thruster going that way. Now we don't need to blast forwards at max speed. So let's just put the one on. Really want to build the absolute minimum to save our resources. So we need to find somewhere to put the braking thrust. And see if I can just pop one right on the side of the drill. Now when you're mining, most of the time you'll find that you're mining down over. So if you're pointing nose down into a hole and you suddenly fill up your mining ship and it gets heavy, it's not the upward thrust that's important, it's actually 
the reverse thrust that you need. So I would put an additional thrust on the front pointing backwards or thrusting backwards. So we've got two of those. Now we also need a side to side movement. We could get by with what we've got there, but it'd be very difficult to fly. We need to be able to thrust left and right as well. So I'm going to put one pointing to the right and another one pointing to the left. So having a look on the right hand side there, it's telling us that we need steel plate construction components, large steel tubes, metal grid motor and construction components and more steel plates. The tricky one here is the metal grid. The metal grid takes cobalt and that's why we were up whoop, on that hill over there getting cobalt so we can make metal grid. Now that we know we're getting into the realm of flying, we've got assemblers going. Really all we're using this for is our first aid and to top up our hydrogen bottles. So we could start grinding this down and look, here we are, some thrusters that are already full of the components that we need. Now there's only four, but that means we're getting four thrusters for free. Free. And now I'm gonna right click one two and three and set those components away there we go it's all done so now we should be able to fly let's go for it now the landing gear that we have on there is uh, has an automatic lock on it and we need to unlock that and the simple or the basic way or the start away to do that is to hit the p button on the keyboard or the park button if you like and that will unlock it however it's sort of bad practice to use that because later on when you start building bigger ships that have other ships docked to it for example then hitting p might undock those ships and possibly destroy them so better practice is to set up a shortcut on the hot bar to turn off the lock on the uh, landing gear. Now while we're there we'll also want to set up uh, a hot hot key to turn on and off our thrusters to save our battery power. So we're going to do all of those things now. If you notice the hot bar at the minute it's completely blank. That's because these are the controls for the drill ship, not our personal inventory. So to set up this hot bar I'm going to use the G menu and I know that's normally your building menu but it's slightly different when you're on a ship. So I'm going to tap G and this is showing us all of the things that we've got on our ship. The first thing I want to do is to put the landing gear. Now I like to put this at the end. Now I want to switch locks. So I'm going to switch it between being locked and unlocked. So that's what that is. And it's telling me there now that it's locked at the minute. The next thing I want to do is to be able to use the drill by using the mouse button. Now to do that, you don't drag this drill down. We go into block tools and we see there's the, the drill there. If I drag that down, now this can go anywhere because you don't actually need to press six or seven or five, wherever you're putting it. You just use your left mouse button. I'm just gonna drag that in there. So now when I'm flying the ship and I press the mouse button, it will activate the drill. Go back to all blocks. The next thing I want to do is to be able to turn off all of these thrusters or turn them all on, but all at the same time. But they're all sitting there individually and I don't want to have to turn each one on and off individually. So I'm going to group those together. Let's go back into the I menu or the K menu for the control panel. And here we can see all of the thrusters. I'm going to group the thrusters together by clicking on the first one, shift, click on the last one. And I'm going to give this group a name. I'm just going to call it thrusters. Now let's save that. Now if we go back into the G menu, we should see that we have a group section now. If I open that up, there is our group of thrusters. I'm going to drag that into number one. And what I wanted to do when we click on one is to toggle the block between being on and off. So unlock a space bar and I'm up. Now let's have a look outside with V for the third person view. And there we are. We are hovering. Let's have a little fly around, see if it works. So push forwards and there we go. 
We can turn them using the gyroscope. Now your Q and E key will let you roll. And we're not very quick, but that's okay. But when I let go, those forward thrusters are slowing us down and stopping us. I can hold Alt and move the mouse around so I can see where I'm going a bit better. And we'll see when we hit the ground or the landing platform. There we go. Right, let's try this thing out, mining some resources. Turn the engines on, unlock the landing gear and thrust up. Let's go and get some more of that... Uh, Actually, no, let's do it. Let's get some iron because we're going to need that fairly soon. Now, I turned the waypoint marker off for the iron, but I know there's a one just here. There it is. Oh, and on the way there, let's test with the, the right mouse button and the left mouse button. The drill works. So as with your hand tool, hand drill, if you hit the right mouse button, you big, you'll drill a larger hole. And the left button will gather the resources. Now, what I didn't do here is add uh, an ore detector. So I'm going to quickly go back and do that now. Okay, so I've got an ore detector. And the same as with the rover, your drill, your hand drill ore detector doesn't work when you're in a vehicle. So you need an ore detector on the vehicle. So let's see where this iron was. It's just here. there's quite a lot of it so we can pretty much just go anywhere see it's right there but I don't want to go in really steep so I'm going to go in at a bit of an angle so right mouse button now there are all sorts of designs you can do for your ships and you can get really fancy with them make them look pretty spectacular but this is the absolute bare bones this only has on it what it needs to fly and do its job and a lot of people I, I see when I've been playing the game over the years is no oh, I never make any decent ships they always look rubbish oh there's some cobalt right there would you believe that right there that's brilliant uh, yeah don't worry about what your ships look like it really doesn't matter at all I mean who cares let's be honest if it does what you want it to do and you've had fun making it then it's a perfectly fine ship I need to jump off the ship for a second quickly. I can put my lights on. Let's get back in the seat. Yes, so we can use my lights to see what we're doing. All right, now the iron, whoops, bumped the irons down that way. And there it is there, showing up in red. So now I'm going to switch back to the left button and we'll harvest some of this iron. Now before I get too much of that collected, we should have a look on the right hand side where it says P, O and Y. Underneath that, we've got the weight of our ship. Now at the minute, it's 16,900 kilograms, would you believe, for the ship that we're flying. And we've got 17 minutes of power. It's not a lot of power and it just won't hold a lot of weight and there isn't any storage space other than what's inside of the actual drill itself so really this is more of a speed thing uh, as opposed to a storage thing it does collect it pretty quickly so that's only been a few seconds if we go into the inventory we can have a look and see how much the drill is actually collected so as with the machines on the base we need to click on the square to see everything so we've actually gathered 13.7 kilos of iron and a little bit of stone as well. Now this drill can contain 33,000. So that's three times what we can carry on our person. So I'm not going to take all 33 of iron because the ship might not even fly with that much. But we're going to get a bit more. Now let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, 30,000, right. I think that's the absolute limit. What's sometimes helpful is just to hold down the right mouse button. So as you're turning, you're actually clearing space for yourself to get round. And there's no harm in having this hole bigger than it needs to be. Now there's my exit there. So I'm going to have to go up and then go along to get to it. But I'm in a drill ship. I can clear that out in no time at all. So I'm pointing at the exit. I'm going to very slowly just push my way forwards. And I'm going to cut 
a larger path in and out of this mine. Yeah, nice and easy. Now it's the right button, so it's making a bigger hole, and it's not loading us up with loads of stone. Now I've got nine minutes of power while I'm flying with this load. So this battery won't charge unless we connect it up to the base or we add solar panels to this ship, but that's really not worth doing. All of the things that, all of the materials that the drill's collected are actually inside of the drill. There's nowhere for them to go because we haven't got this connected up to any storage containers of any sort. So the only way we can access that iron is through these mini ports on the side here. Now I've covered it over a bit with that, but we can still get to it just fine. So I'm gonna click on F on that and we can see there's all of the iron. I can't carry all of that, but if I just pull it all over, it'll give me what it'll let me take. I'm going to go over to the refinery and drop that in, ready for it to start processing. Now it's a bit tedious doing it this way, but this is the very basic way of doing it while we're getting started. And what we'll do in the next video is, I might as well take that stone. What we'll do in the next video is we'll add connectors to the, the base so we can connect up our mining, uh, our drill ship to the base and it'll automatically transfer the stone into the refinery but it will also recharge the drill ship from these solar uh, from the turbines sorry not solar panels okay let's leave it there for today i hope you've enjoyed that and as always please hit like uh, it does as i said at the beginning of the video it really does help me out by letting me know that you're enjoying it and uh, subscribe if you like and see what other videos I, I do on the channel and next time we'll expand our base we'll do a little bit more exploring with the miner and we we'll think we're going to need to upgrade it this was great to get us started but it's not going to carry a lot of weight and well we can do better basically <laughs> all right thanks again i'll see you next time Bye bye